How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, 44 years ago, a great mystery occurred. A man got on a plane, hijacked it, got several hundred thousand dollars, jumped out in a parachute. His body was never found. Some money was recovered by the banks of a river by a child. But nobody knows what happened to Dan Cooper. Well, a new author, Ross Richardson, author of the 2014 book, Still Missing, about unsolved disappearances of people, planes, and ships, believes he may hold the answer to the D.B. Cooper mystery. According to Richardson, the true identity of Cooper may be Richard Lepsey, who went missing from Grayling, Michigan, in October of 1969, leaving behind his wife and four children. A native of Chicago, Lepsey married Jackie Hunter in 1955, moved to Grayling a year later. Prior to his disappearance, he worked as a store manager at Glen's Market in his hometown. In 1969, he went to work. In the afternoon, he called his wife, telling her he wouldn't be joining her for lunch. He decided to go out for a drive in his company-owned car to clear his head. That's the last time anybody heard from him. A few days later, his car was found at the Cherry Capital Airport in Traverse City by his wife. The keys were still ignition. There was a half pack of cigarettes resting in the dashboard. After his disappearance, his boss found that he had $2,000 missing from an office safe. Lepsy, according to the author, took off to make start a new leaf and may have gone to Mexico. The night of, it, of the hijacking, his daughter recalled when D.B. Cooper's composite sketch was shown on TV, everyone in her family looked at each other and said, that's dad. We were stunned. The resemblance was unbelievable. My brothers and I were all sure that was our father. There are other similarities between Cooper and Lepsey. Richardson noted the black tie was left behind by the hijackers. The same black tie was part of Lepsey's uniform at the store in Grayling. He also said, citing the FBI, the suspect was wearing loafers. Lepsey's favorite pair of shoes were loafers. DB Robert Lep Richard Lepsey is the only, only the latest in a long stream of names been floated over the years in connection with this mystery. In 2011, an Oregon woman declared her uncle was the plain bandit. He had, she had been told by the FBI her evidence was enough for them to close the file on the case. Burdened by guilt of her knowledge surrounding the case, Maria Cooper claimed she had a 40-year-old secret protecting her uncle, a man named Lynn Doyle Cooper. Maria Cooper said she was eight years old when her uncle, whom she called L.D. Cooper, came to her home badly injured. The day after the infamous incident, he claimed his injuries were the result of a car crash. Her parents later believed that L.D. Cooper was a hijacker. Mrs. Cooper never saw her uncle again after that day and was told he died in 1999. It was the FBI's most promising lead for the mystery of who is behind the hijacking of Northwest Airlines flight from Portland to Seattle following a bomb threat on November 24, 1971. Maria Cooper was also also provided investigators with a photograph of LD and a guitar strap he owned for fingerprint testing. So that's another suspect I hadn't heard about. Regardless of the findings of fingerprint, she told NBC affiliate WFIE they would be closing the case after this. Her uncle was fixated on a comic book character named Dan Cooper. The FBI ultimately included Lynn Doyle. Cooper's DNA did not match the partial DNA obtained from the hijacker's tie left on the plane. Several people also claimed to be Cooper at times were dismissed on the basis of physical descriptions, parachuting experience, and by DNA recovered in 2001 from the cheap clip-on tie the skyjacker left on the plane. Many others believe that Cooper was Richard McCoy, a Viet War, Vietnam War veteran, experienced parachutist and BYU political science student who staged a similar, similar hijacking several months later. But the FBI said McCoy, who was killed in a shootout with law enforcement after a prison break in 1974, didn't fit the description of Cooper provided by two flight attendants. 
in response to Ross Richardson's suggestion that D.B. Cooper and Dip Lep Lepsy may be the same person, the FBI said they are no longer actively looking for new information in the hijacking case. That said, when tips come into us, we assess each one if credible, pursue the lead accordingly, the uh, statement from the agency read. So there you have several guys, all with people saying that that guy was Dan D.B. Cooper. All right, this is a guy from Pittsburgh. It'll be interesting to see what next comes about this mystery. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.